five. Bruce Bell heads a play there by the Admirals defenseman. Now Johansson on the far right wing boards for Robinson. Robinson trying to get a step ahead of LaPuma. The puck in behind goaltender J.C. Bergeron, and I think Scott Robinson's going to pick up another penalty. Indeed, a delayed penalty.
Hines able to shoot it in, and that time, Eller to get it off now, Tay stick. Joe Holly smashes Callender to the boards, and the puck will come all the way back. Darren Beach will corral it, send it around to the far boards, and Brian McKee will get it back to center ice for Kozowski. Here come the Rivermen, shorthanded, three on three. Kozowski dumped on the play, no penalty called. Solid check that time. Riverman try to put it home, but Ron Handy's unable to get his stick on it. And the puck goes back into the net. Now Ruff cuts between the circles down low. Kozowski trying to put it home. Rick lands that time. Unable to control it. Dumped on the play as Kozowski, no penalty called. Puxley tried to put it home. Ron Handy all over the puck. Now Ron Handy being held. Back to the far side. Batter's able to keep it in for Wickenheiser. Now Wickenheiser slotted across. Robinson puts it in front. Unable to put it home with the Riverman. Down to the far side.
Big Dave Mackey feeds Wickenheiser near boards. Down to our left into the corner. He's bumped off the play by Dubois on a good check. It's behind the net. Play Domney, 12 and a half minutes to go in the second period. A two-minute penalty on Stan Drulia for uh, cross-checking at the seven and a half minute mark into the second period. So the Knights once again shorthand Peoria right now. One for four on the power play and trying to get position. Mackey upended by Buchanan before the faceoff. The Bronx cheer from the fans. <laughs> Very embarrassing type of a fall by Mackey, but uh, no penalties of it, and uh, we're on the power play here with Peoria. And they have it at the to overtime. Could happen tonight. Karamanoff with it. Takes a big bump from Lapoma. Loses the puck, and now Miller. He's a tight. Levac moving into the zone. Levac on the right wing. Checked into the boards hard. Nice. Oh, big hit by Kastelik behind the net. Loose puck. Can't find it. Scott Boston. Oh, Breslin pushed it off his stick. Breslin going out. Oh, then Breslin knocked down on the play. And Buchanan doesn't have a stick. He's pushing Breslin into the... Oh, penalty is over. Mokasak's out of the penalty box. Here's White coming up by. White trying to get around the defense. One hands it toward the net. And Littman with a save. And Lapula putting a hard hit. Couldn't control it. As Marr knocked him down. Here's Vukinich on the left wing. Vukinich, oh, big collision with LaPuma. And now the loose puck taken by Shaw. Keeping it in at the far point, Larmer. Well, Bruce Bell getting a good percentage shot in on Bergeron, who made a fine save. And the puck went right by the trailer, looking for a rebound, was Geltenyuk. In on Bergeron, Johansson, a backhand shot, and a beautiful glove save by Bergeron. Jimmy Johansson getting a good, solid backhand in on Bergeron from the right side of Bergeron's crease area. The puck looked like it was headed for the lower left-hand portion of the Atlanta netminder's net, but Bergeron grabbed it in midair. A pretty save it was for Bergeron. 11 to 10, shots now favoring Atlanta. Milwaukee, though, in the lead, 2 to 1. 10.55 remaining to go in the second period. Admirals getting goals from Jeff Larmer and Michelle Mongeau in the opening. Control. Quickly goes out to center ice. Onside. Zimbach. Zimbach been able to get to the puck. A long suck shot for the five point by Jimmy Johansson. He put it up in the audience. Zemlock, he was racing for the puck. It was sliding in the direction of J.C. Bergeron, the Atlanta netminder. Bergeron quickly moved quickly up by... Just under seven minutes for a minute to go. A steal by Tuttle and a big save by J.C. Bergeron. Steve Tuttle took the puck and moving in on J.C. Bergeron and took a quick wrister. And Bergeron made a fabulous save and Steve Tuttle was looking for the Admiral's second shorthanded goal of the night, but he's denied this time by Bergeron. In the opening period, it was Larmer scoring a shorthanded. Right to left, Johansson on the far side. Now for Bell, in across the attacking line to Larmer. Larmer, a backhand shot. Same made. No rebound for Johansson. And down in the far corner, Jeff Larmer. He gets back up. And it's a minute to go in the second period. You're listening to Milwaukee Admiral's Hockey right here on News Talk 1130 WISN. Alexander Gelchenyuk putting on the bricks. He's got Evans in the slot. A centering pass goes right into a sliding 
Sean Rivers, and Rivers comes up with possibly the defensive play of the game. We've got a stoppage of play. Let's take time out. Jock Conner at 7.57 scores his third goal on the season. The assist to Rivers, and we have a tie hockey to edge. And now back come the Admirals, a two-on-one developing. Larmer coming down the far boards to Dobbin. Dobbin a shot, save me. The puck loose out in front of Bergeron, and Bergeron will hold. Larmer with a touch pass to Dobbins. Circle to the left of Bergeron. One-timing it was Dobbins. It went right into the left pad of Bergeron. On the doorstep looking for a possible rebound was Larmer. He might have gotten a piece of it with the blade of his stick, but he didn't get all of it. And the puck went right into Bergeron's glove. And the Atlanta Knights. Control by Scaldi, side of the goal. Scaldi, center point for Nashville. Right point for Sharon with a shot. A scintillating skate save by Littman. Rebound of the left. Sean is at his own line. Rick Wadden, right wing at center for Ralph Barahona. Barahona behind the defense. He's ready to go with a shot. A great save by Littman. Oh, Barahona absolutely undressed the defenseman LaPuma. Lance at center. Schultz by Sharon. Control by Medill. All oh, the Atlanta line and left wing for Atlanta. Lot up from the circle, fired, kicked out by Littman. Rebound control, oh, by Engineer, the power play rush. Sharon leads on left wing at center for Mario Fire. He storms into the Atlanta line, right in front for Harim with a shot. Oh, Littman stacked the pads. Rebound in the right corner. Can he keep it in? He does. Right there for Kozowski. Back to the point. LaPerriere slotted across. Jason Marshall with a blast. Kicked out of there by Bergeron. Atlanta able to clear the zone. Nice play by Marshall. Going inside the line for Leslie. Cuts to the net. Leslie shoots and it's blocked out in front by Bergeron. Puck now to the near boards. Riverman keep it in. Marshall. 
Down low for Frenette in front. Leslie with a shot. Point blank save Bergeron. And the puck will be set up in behind the net by Rick Lance. One inside the Atlanta line. Now Kozowski in front. Reeves with a shot blocked out in front that time. Rick Lands with a nice block of the Atlanta Knights. But the hurry. The center ice goes Lee. Now inside the line. Lee just takes it right to the net. Tries to put it on but unable to do it. Now comes in front. That time Ron Handy right there. And he's ridden out of the play by Sean Rivers. As Bergeron's able to cover up on the puck. As Ron Handy tried to put a pass Bergeron but nothing doing. And so the... Penalty has expired in the face of Holman. Clear away, Riverman come close. Now Lee Leslie tries to put a shot home. Can't do it. Rob Robinson now to the right side for batters. Down low for Leslie in front of bouncing puck. Leslie tried to put it Center ice for Peone. Now Peone in all alone. A shot and a save that time by J.C. Bergeron. Bergeron that time about five feet out of the net. Able to challenge Peon, and he's able to make the save. Now Wickenheiser in behind the net. Give it off to Leslie. Now Frenette cuts behind in front. A quick shot and another save by J.C. Bergeron as he robs the Riverman forward. 30. And McKayla. Anderson. Looks for McKayla. His shot. Save Bergeron. And it's swept out of the crease. McKayla will try again. Off the backboard. And what? Have to come up big there, and Bergeron sends out the glove as Gantry was looking top shelf for his second goal. Bergeron with an outstanding night in goal tonight. Priestley with a nice pass to Perry Gantry to the left of Bergeron, and uh, another glove save. Briaco, as we said earlier, Briaco, the one-time coach of the Pittsburgh Penguins, of course, the parent club for Cleveland. Briaco now involved with Kyla. Looks for Gancher in the slot. Puck knocked down in front. In fact, one of the Knights was good with that puck. He was hit right in the face. Sean Rivers has left the ice. Rivers has one of the goals here. The initial save on the rebound is clear. The Lumberjacks, 88% of the penalty kill this year. Coach Russell likes to run on the ground. There's a steal. Lumberjack in and shoots. Bergeron makes the save. Atlanta caught with their wires crossed at the blue line. And they soon play continue. Here comes a break. Three on two. Goche with the pilot and smart. Teams at full strength. Goche now walks in. Goche all with a save by Bergeron, and he is hurt. Bergeron lost his mask. His shoulder went crashing into the goalpost. A great individual effort, but a terrific save by that. This is after the trailer pass, and that's Goche. What's, what great stick work that time by Daniel Goche, and then even better stick work by Bergeron. But he paid the price, did J.C. Bergeron, but he held on. Great individual effort by Daniel Gauthier, a doubtful starter tonight. A couple of goals. Look at that give and go there by McKaylick. And then Gauthier, Ron, by Bergeron. That was point number 1,000 and had it written all over it for McKaylick. Unfortunately, though, there was a guy by the name of J.C. Bergeron who made the save of the night on this play. Shank keeps it alive, takes a big bump from LaPuma. The puck loose, centered in front. Battle for the puck in the near circle. A shot, a save, the rebound roll right through the crease. And it's Pickers it around the near boards. McSween keeps it alive. McSween shot, save, the rebound taken away by Callender. He breaks up the near side. Callender, another shot. Never got all of it. Here they come. Here's a break for McDonough. One on one, lands the player back. Nice poke check by Rick Lands. And Lafreniere comes up the other side. Coming in is McDonough. McDonough around Hammerlin. Fires and a save by Littman. Got the glove up and a made a dandy set. Puck over to the far side. But now here comes San Diego on side. Lamoureux cutting in all alone. A save by Littman. Great save. Popped it up over the crossbar and off the top of the net. Now into the attack zone. Hammerlick drops for Milliken. San Diego. Lamoro almost got the goals on the board. Now perfect pass from two, Ken. And he made the right play here. He's going to fake and shoot to the top right side. But Dave was anticipated. Made a great, he almost did score still. Made a great save. Now we're back to live. Cutting there almost made the play instead. Here they come up the far side. Hackborn cutting in on LaPuma. Great play by LaPuma to clear the puck to the far 
side. Now Callender. Plays it at center right. Across the line, Mean to the far side. A booming shot, a save. The rebound! Cleared by the defense. The shot fired by Reeves. Now, now it comes here to the near side. A centering pass right in front. And Frenette fired. Good stick save by Greenlay, who's played well here in the first. Which end of the second period. They have it along the far board. 
Looking for the play of Booming. Shot a save. The rebound loose in front of Shot. Another save. Finally cleared by Drulia. And then Greenlee reaching out. Hangs on. Point by Peoria. Wickenheiser wheeling out of his own zone. Steers it ahead and little Pion can fly across the line. Trying to get through the defense. Taken out of the play by Buchanan on a good play. Gretzky taken back by Peoria. Across the line to the far circle. A shot. A save. The rebound cleared by Atlanta. Across the line. Here comes... Play by the by the jump in there. It's, it's good to see that Atlanta's utilizing their uh, defenseman as an extra attacker. Now Peoria in the tack zone with the puck. It's Mackey right in front of shot and what a save by Greenlee! Greenlee does the slip and makes a great glove save as Mackey from just in. It gives it up at the blue line right in front all alone. What a big save! The shot fired by Kyle Reeves and again Greenlee hangs on as the Knights Handed it to him on a play. Around, shooting it into the Atlanta zone. Now Long will block the pass and pick it off in the zone. Long in the Boston, in the Atlanta zone. Shot. Littman with a great save. Paul Littman down on his back. Reached up with the, with the glove and just snatched it out of midair as Long tried to go up over a sprawling Littman. Wow, an all-star save there by David Littman as Robert Long creates a turnover. Levesque, Levesque wants to bring it out in front. Levesque sends it out to the point. Left side, quick shot, deflected by Littman. Rebound! Oh, oh. shot right into Littman by Levesque. Wow, Littman was a good five to ten feet out of the net when the rebound shot was shot right into his pass. And he was still down on the ice. Had now, and Sean White will bring it out. Passing off to Vukinic. Vukinic into the zone. Swept off his stick nicely by Scott Boston. Now Boston from behind. Him. White picking up the puck for Phoenix at center. White coming in on Littman. White right down the slot. White shoots. Oh, Littman got a piece of that, and it's just wide of the left post. One to nothing, Phoenix here in the shootout. Out comes Stan Drulia.
just in case anybody happens to break in here, I'd like to show you a few tricks in self-defense. Uh -huh. Now, the first thing is this. The telephone. Watch very carefully. You see this? Oh. I know the after effects uh, of this sport is like an earthquake. You know, you can see what it... Uh, what happens while the earthquake is is going but when it's all over the after effects can be just as devastating nfl players have long believed that football takes years off their lives later this year a national institute of occupational safety and health study involving more than 5,000 former players is likely to confirm those dark suspicions according to the nfl players association which prompted the study the results will show that players with significant time in the league lose an average of a dozen years off their lives. It could be, but I think there's certainly no empirical evidence of that. Nobody has established that that's a fact at all, and I think it's a myth that's been uh, spread among football players. But 12-year Hall of Fame tackle Ron Mix is convinced NFL players die young. He says the repeated collisions are the primary reason. As a lawyer, he now represents players in workmen's compensation cases. In one instance, he calculated for a judge that his client weathered more than 12,000 high-speed contacts in games and practices over a single season. That means a six-year veteran, the average career for a player who survives three seasons, will sustain at least 72,000 impacts. I mean, that cannot be good for the body. I mean, it takes no rocket scientist to, to figure that out. With the help of a physicist, we devised this scenario to give you a rough idea of what it's like to play a season in the NFL. Put on a bicycle helmet and a winter coat and line up 10 yards in front of your garage door. Then hurl yourself into the door 35 times a day at different speeds and angles. And then repeat this absurd behavior every day of the year. Believe it or not, the worst of the collisions on the field are the equivalent of a 20 mile an hour car crash without the car. Beyond the pounding, there is enormous stress. The jobs-rated almanac ranks football as the fifth most stressful, behind only surgeons, astronauts, indie car drivers, and firefighters. After they leave the game, the emotional strain can intensify. Players often become overweight, which can lead to heart attacks. Steroid use is another factor. And then there is the sometimes lethal lifestyle. Active players such as David Overstreet, Don Rogers, and Stacey Turan all live that life, only to die obscenely young. John Matuzak, Travis Williams, and Jim Tyrer all died while they were still grappling with a transition from the game. There's a piece of their lives that is missing, and they're living with limitations and many times chronic pain, uh, and many times major medical care over the rest of their lives, so their quality of life is definitely affected by it. It's a very subjective thing. You know, it's hard to explain to somebody else that your knee is hurting you so bad that it takes you an hour to get out of bed in the morning until you start moving around, you know? Then when you sit down, you can't get back up again. But would players, knowing the risks, do it all again? Those sacrifices that the doctor will say, hey man, you know what you're doing? You know how you're risking your life? You know how you're risking what you're, would you, would you trade it? No, none of us would. I'm sacrificing my body for the lifestyle that I want my family to have. Uh, you're talking to living players. Now talk to a player who was, say, 59 on his deathbed and say, would he trade that football for an additional 15 years of life? Then you get a different answer. Critics, such as Mix, say the NFL could eliminate up to 40% of the high-speed collision by curtailing practice contact. Chances are that won't happen. But better eating habits, year-round conditioning, and advances in medicine suggest the players of the 80s and 90s may live longer but for many of those pioneers before them, the future is bleak. While the NFL Players Association and the Management Council are wrangling over a new collective bargaining agreement, the players are caught in a tug of war with benefits locked in at 1982 levels. That means a 10-year player of the 60s and early 70s receives about $850 a month for his suffering. We owe them the protection of their own bodies and we owe them some concern about what happens to them when they leave the game. And I don't think we as a culture, society, uh, as team owners, as fans, as all the people who make money and enjoy football, uh, are willing to pay back what it is we take from these guys. 
When poet John Keats pondered his own mortality more than 150 years ago, he could have been assessing the fate of many NFL players. My spirit is too weak. Mortality weighs heavily on me like unwilling sleep. And each imagined pinnacle and steep of godlike hardship tells me I must die, like a sick eagle looking at the sky. People don't stay at La Quinta Inns just because of the refreshing swimming pool. However, it does create quite a splash. Call 1-800-531-5900. La Quinta Inns, America's hotel value. This is La Quinta Inn's new money-saving super value rates coupon. If you can't find one, just tell them you saw it on TV. Call La Quinta and ask for the new super value rates from $34.50. like pure, clear water. That's why Diamond Crystal makes some of the most advanced water softener salts you can buy. Make your water special with Diamond Crystal. Excuse me, do you know what stock options are? I wish I did. When is the weak dollar good for business? Good? I don't know. The world of finance and investing can be pretty confusing, unless you call for this, the Wall Street Journal's Video Guide to Money and Markets. It explains the markets in clear, simple English and brings them to light. This exclusive 30-minute video is free when you call for 13 weeks of the Wall Street Journal for just $37, over 20% off the newsstand price. Subscribe to the journal and get a daily view of the whole world of business and how it affects you. Information you know you should know. Call now and you'll be ready next time someone asks you. Are munis always a safe investment? I'm not sure. Call toll free 800-332-1800 for 13 weeks of the Wall Street Journal and your free video on money and markets. That's 800-332-1800. Welcome back, everyone, to the Best of Sports Center. I'm Mark Jones with the NBA Plays of the Year. There's a different type of party going on inside Madison Square Garden right now, namely the Democratic National Convention. But during the course of the NBA season, MSG rocked to a round ball beat, a beat that was magnified and amplified in arenas around the NBA. But our Plays of the Year go beyond basketball. This is basketball with an attitude. It's showtime. <laughs> Rebound to the Trailblazers. Kersey deep to Porter. He's got it behind the back. Chris Robinson! Behind the back pad from Wilkins. <laughs> to Petro. Webb taking it in reversal. How did he make it? What's on the racket? Oh, oh. That's embarrassing. This foolishness gone far enough. Grab him up. Let's go. What? 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 You can't beat what you can't catch. To Johnson at the buzzer. Oh, oh, oh. Hornets win it. Oh. Nice shot. Need a bird. Oh, what a oh, On the drive, Skiles, no look dish. Car rejects Williams. Oh, uh, yeah. Wow. Now that is attacking the basket. Wide open hill, one bounce. A block by Rodman with a play. You're wide open. Ah. Shot clock is at five. Barkley. Nice shot. And Johnson's got it. Long shot. Oh, yes. Sorry, son. 
Young didn't call back for it. Oh, Peyton to McKee. Nice no looks, get past Pippen for the two-handed snap. Picked off by Michael Adams. Four on one break. What a pass! Here's Tim Hardaway behind the back. Hey, he spins and scores! Get on it. Oh, 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 oh,